I was reading the Tao Te Ching again today, and let me just share with you one small passage that <laughs> is so good. Things arise, and the master lets them come. Things disappear, and the master lets them go. The master has, but doesn't possess. Acts, but doesn't expect. So the master is letting things be without holding on to them, and acts, but doesn't have any expectations about actions. Just that last point about acting without expecting anything, that is so true when it comes to YouTubing. I talk to small YouTube creators on a regular basis because we have our little community and I hear people saying things like, oh, I think this one's gonna blow up and then Sometimes it does, but a lot of time it doesn't. And then they get highly deflated and unmotivated and they're like, oh, I thought it was gonna blow up, but it got no views whatsoever. And having an expectation often leads to disappointment. So this acting but not expecting is so key. And this kind of ties in with this following passage. Be content with what you have. Rejoice in the way things are. When you realize there is nothing lacking, the whole world belongs to you. So appreciate what you have, appreciate the way things are, even if you're going through a difficult time, just letting it be without any resistance. That is such a beautiful message. I'm definitely gonna be coming back to this book on a regular basis. Two updates, one on the NoFap and one on phone usage. I have been sucked into using my phone again. I regressed, even though I put my intent out that I'm going to limit my phone usage. So one thing I did change is that on my always on display, oh, on my always on display, I turned off notifications. So I only see the clock and date. So I have to pick up my phone or actually press the button in order to see my notifications. The second update is I'm not continuing with my NoFap streak. It's been three weeks, 21 days of no fap. I reached my goal of going over two weeks no fap. So on the third end of the third week, I decided to end my no fap streak. To be honest, I haven't really noticed a difference in motivation at all in my no fap of three weeks. Even in my previous no fap streaks that I've done before of like 38 days or something like that, I haven't noticed any difference. So I'm going to follow Mark Manson's diet of still no porn, no softcore porn on TikTok or Instagram or anything like that even, but I'm going to hold myself to a once every two week diet of masturbation or once every three weeks like it lasted this time. It doesn't have to be every two weeks particularly, but at least two weeks. For my phone, I want to aim my screen time to less than two hours. I'm not going to count phone calls or music time while I'm driving because my screen is on and that counts while I'm playing Spotify in my car, but sub two hours a day is my goal for phone usage screen time. At least I got my workout on this morning even though I ended up not going for a walk because I had to go to the vet. 1% better every day, baby. It is before sunrise right now. Let's get the workout in nice and early. Look who came to check me out. <laughs> Take a... So that was just over 19 minutes. Push-ups, pull-ups, dips. Mission accomplished. Tigger was hiding here because people came over. Come out. <laughs> Poor Tigger. Come out. Been looking for you everywhere, Tigger, huh? We're at the vet and Mochi wants to leave. She doesn't like the vet. She's getting an ultrasound today. Poor Mochi. Poor Mochi. Mochi came back from the vet. Poor thing's been there for so many hours. She's been waiting to pee, I guess. Let's go in, Mochi. Mochi's home, Tigger. <laughs> Checking her out.
Pega. <laughs> What? She's eating. <laughs> 